welcome all in this lecture we are going to learn about equation of voltage and current on transmission line so let's discuss about the basic structure of transmission line a transmission line consists of series resistance and inductance so here is the diagram of transmission line in which the resistance and the inductance per unit length are connected in series combination and a parallel admittance and capacitance so here is the admittance and here is the capacitance per unit length that are connected in nothing but parallel combination so this is the basic structure of transmission line here at the input of the transmission line we applied the voltage v of z comma t and through which the current i of z comma t began to flow in the transmission line and at the output due to the change in the voltage we get some decreased voltage at the output that is nothing but v of z plus del z comma t since it is a decreased voltage that's why this del z should be negative because the output voltage should be lesser than the input voltage now here a del z is nothing but the length of the transmission line now let's discuss and describe the transmission line in terms of its parameters here r is nothing but resistance per unit length l is nothing but inductance per unit length g is nothing but conductance per unit length and c is the capacitance per unit length now these all are not not a absolute values because these all are described in terms of its per unit length if we want to calculate the absolute values then what we need to do is we need to just multiply these values that is r with the unit length so here the length factor is nothing but del z so we just multiply r with del z so it become r del z now it is absolute value it is nothing but resistance only not a resistance per unit length this is only a resistance similarly in inductance per unit length will be multiplied with del z and it become inductance only conductance per unit length will multiply with del z and become conductance only and it become only capacitance instead of capacitance per unit length so this is the basic introduction of transmission line now let us assume that the length that is del z of this transmission line is very small so the length is very small now we have to apply kvl that is kirchhoff voltage law in the above figure between the potential that is v of z comma t and v of z plus del z comma t so applying kirchhoff voltage law in above figure we get see these are the two potential between which we are applying the kirchhoff voltage law so its output will become v of z comma t this is v of z comma t and this is r del z which is being multiplied with this current which flows into this resistor so it becomes r del z i of z comma t now this current also being flown into this inductor so it can be written as l del z del over del t of i of z comma t this is the basic form in which the inductance can be written also here 
we are applying kirchhoff of voltage low between two voltage so this voltage is remaining now so we write equals to v of z plus del z comma t now if we rearrange it then it will become v of z comma t minus r del z i of z comma t minus l del z del over del t of i of z comma t we take this term in lhs so it will become negative of v of z plus del z comma t equals to zero so here is the equation that we evaluated now we take this term in the rhs and this term in the rhs so it become minus r del z i of z comma t minus l del z del over del t of i of z comma t will now become this become positive when coming into rhs minus v of z comma t now we take del z common so it will become minus r i of z comma t minus l del over del t of i of z comma t will be equals to v of z plus del z comma t minus v of z comma t now we take this del z in the denominator in rhs so it will become minus r i of z comma t minus l del over del t of i of z comma t which will be equals to v of z plus del z comma t minus v of z comma t divided by del z since we discussed that the length that is del z is very small so we apply the limit since del z is very small so apply limit del z tends to zero so when we apply the limit so it will become like del z tends to zero v of z plus del z comma t minus v of z comma t divided by del z equals to minus r i of z comma t minus l del by del t of i of z comma t now on applying the limit that is del z tends to zero this will become del over del z of v of z sorry v of z comma t will be equals to minus r into i of z comma t minus l this del over del t is then replaced with j omega into i of z comma t it can also be written as del over del z of 
v of z comma t that will be equals to minus of r plus j omega l i of z comma t so this is the equation number one now here is our transmission line and we have to apply kirch of current law on this transmission line at this node since according to the kirch of current law the incoming current is equal to the outgoing current that's why on applying kcl we get i of z comma t this is the incoming current and it is the i of z plus del z comma t so it is the outgoing current so we can write it as i of z comma t which is an incoming current that will be equals to minus g del z v of z comma t here is the g del z and the potential across this conductance is nothing but equals to v of z comma t that's why we wrote it plus here is also plus sign plus c del z del over del t of v of z comma t here also the potential is equal to v of z comma t that's why we wrote it plus an outgoing current that is equal to i of z plus del z comma t i of z plus del z comma t this is the equation that we get after applying kcl in the transmission line figure now if we solve this equation further then it will become i of z plus del z comma t minus i of z comma t that will be equals to minus g del z v of z comma t minus c del z del over del t of v of z comma t so this is the modified equation after this we have to take this del z common so taking del z common and we get i of z plus del z comma t minus i of z comma t that will be equals to taking del z common minus g v of z comma t minus c del over del t of v of z comma t now we take this del z in the denominator so it become i of z plus del z comma t minus i of z comma t divided by del z equals to minus g v of z comma t minus c del over del t of v of z comma t now we assume that del z is very small so we have to apply a limit that is del z tends to zero so on applying the limit 
our equation will become limit del z tends to 0 i of z plus del z comma t minus i of z comma t over del z that will be equals to minus g v of z comma t minus c del over del t of v of z comma t on applying the limit it will become del over del z of z i of z comma t that will be equals to minus of g v of z comma t minus c this del over del t will now then replaced with g omega of v of z comma t this whole equation can also be rewritten as del over del z of i of z comma t equals to minus g plus j omega c v of z comma t this is the equation number 4 sorry 2 so here are both the two equation that we derived that is equation number 2 and the equation number 1 now in the next step we have to apply the sinusoidal steady state condition so for sinusoidal steady state condition applied on equation number 1 and equation number 2 we get from equation number 1 we get d by dz of v of z equals to minus r plus j omega l i of z so after applying the sinusoidal steady state condition our equation 1 will be transformed into this equation so this is nothing but equation number 3 similarly if we apply sinusoidal steady state condition on equation number 2 then it become d by dz of i of z equals to minus g plus j omega c v of z so this is the modified equation from equation number 2 and we write it as equation number 4 so here is the equation number 3 and equation number 4 now let us differentiate this equation number 3 differentiating equation 3 we get d2e by dz square of z will be equals to minus r plus j omega l d by dz of i of z now let's substitute the value of d by dz of i of z from the equation number 4 substituting the value of d 
टी बाय टी जेड ऑफ आई ऑफ सेड फ्रॉम इक्वेशन फोर वी गेट डी टू बाय डी जेड स्क्वायर ऑफ वी ऑफ जेड इक्वल्स टू माइनस आर प्लस जे ओमेगा एल नाउ दिस होल टर्म विल बी रिप्लेस विथ माइनस जी प्लस जे ओमेगा सी इन टू वी ऑफ जेड डी टू वी बाय डी जेड स्क्वायर ऑफ वी ऑफ जेड इक्वल्स टू दिस माइनस एंड माइनस विल गेट मल्टीप्लाइड एंड बिकम पॉजिटिव आर प्लस जे ओमेगा एल जी प्लस जे ओमेगा C into V of Z. This is the simplified equation. Now let us assume that gamma square is equals to R plus J omega L G plus J omega C. So substituting. Gamma square in place of R plus J omega L and G plus J omega C. We get our equation as d2 by dz square of V of Z equals to gamma square in place of this whole term into V of Z. This can also be written as d2 by dz square of v of z minus gamma square of v of z equals to zero. So this is our equation number five. Similarly, if we solve for the current equation, then we get similarly. d2 by dz square of i of z minus gamma square i of z will also be equals to zero. So this is our equation number six. Now if we solve equation number five and equation number six. Further, then we get on solving equation five and equation six. Further, we get v of z equals to v naught plus e to the power minus gamma z. Plus v naught minus e to the power plus gamma z from equation number fifth. So this equation that we get after solving equation number five is nothing but our voltage equation. So this is voltage equation. of transmission line and if we solve equation number 6 further then we get i of z equals to i not plus e to the power minus gamma z plus i not minus e to the power plus gamma z so this is our current equation of transmission line so this is all about the derivation in which we derived both the voltage equation as well as the current equation of transmission line thank you